It's your favorite auntie back repping hard for struggle braid gang if you can't braid i got you if you need hairstyle inspiration you know i'm here for you so i'm gonna give you a little bit more of the slate and we'll get right into this video oh yeah, shake body. Oh yeah, move body. So these are the Her Given Hair Coily 3B 3C 16 inch clip-ins and you get 100 grams of hair sis so it's stacked okay. But to prep my hair I definitely wanted to nourish the scalp so I'm using the Regal 7 growth oil from My Fluffy Puffs and taking my time to massage this in. If you watched my last video you know I was a little trifling so I'm doing better. Here I'm taking my Carrot Growth Oil Moisturizer and I'm going to use this on the length of my hair as well as the ends. And I'm going to detangle a little bit before I do a two strand twist and make sure you're twisting your hair all the way down to the ends. I wanted to make this as easy as possible so we're not out here stressing and we're slaying. So I did this for the rest of the three sections and I'm going to take the ends of the twist and crisscross them so that they lay flatter to the scalp. And this is the perfect foundation. Do not worry that it's not super neat. Honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect and you can still make off with this. So I started with the clip-in that has exactly three clips and I like to clip in the hair based on the number of clips. So I started with the clip-ins that have three clips. That's just how I like to do it. Do you guys do that? Do you even wear clip-in extensions? Let me know. Now this hair goes a long way. It has a lot of volume and when you start to style it, it gets even more voluminous. So they do tell you to prep your clip-in extensions by co-washing them, which I highly recommend. But if you want to break the rules like me, I'll show you what to do. So now as I reach the area near my ears, I like to start using the clip-ins with four clips. And then girl, we're on to the big dogs. You only get two clip-ins with five clips. So you have to be very strategic about how you place them. And I reserve them for the area near the crown because that's the widest part of the head. And as I near my leave out section, I'm gonna use the clip-ins with three clips. And you wanna be super careful about how you do this because we wanna end up disguising the weft. And place them kind of a little bit further back from you know your perimeter hairline so it's undetectable. So with some warm water, I'm going to generously mist the hair because we're going to start detangling. So make sure it's saturated and I'm going to use a shampoo comb to really detangle and fluff out the curls. So the texture is going to be get a little looser, but look at the transformation. This hair, I mean, it packs in the volume. But I'm going in with my Curl Envy Curl Cream and if you don't like too much volume this is a good product for definition and it can also tame the volume and make it more manageable. But for me I like to keep it big. Go big or go home. Are you guys the same? Because I like to have fun with my hair. I like it to be big and just juicy curls dripping. So I'm going to do the same for the opposite side. Now with the Style Factor Edge Booster, I'm gonna use this specifically on my leave out. Now y'all know my leave out is not blending. I have type 4C natural hair. I can't even try to play a game. So I'm using the Edge Booster nearest the root of my section. And I'm gonna use a comb to kind of smooth this down. Don't use too much because you will have white residue. But I'm just going to pull the length of the section down and take a little bit of the hair from the clip-in section and twist it around my own. And then I'm going to use a bobby pin to pin it in place. And make sure you clip down the very end of the section of your natural hair so it's not flapping in the wind. You want to be undetectable. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other section but you guys notice I used way too much product and it has that white residue. I tried my best to get it together but... Anyway, I took the section and I started to kind of like flat twist it on the scalp, not a two strand flat twist, but just a regular flat twist on the scalp so I can disguise the weft. And again, I'm going to take a section of the clip in hair and twist it around my own and bobby pin it in place. Now 
Next, I'm going to use a satin scarf to wrap my hair and I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes because I really want my leave out to be on point and I also want the hair to dry. And I want to also create some layers, some dimension, so it doesn't look like it's flat or just kind of dull. So I'm giving it a little bit of life. And girl, look at the movement. Look at this hair. It is everything. So after about 30 minutes, this is what the hair is looking like. It dried and the volume is insane. It shrunk a little bit, but I actually love the length at this point. So now I'm taking some of the hair from the clip-in and kind of pulling it forward so that it lays exactly how I want it. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side, making sure to hide that white residue buildup that I had from the gel. That was my bad. And so how do you guys like this style? I love it. I think it looks so good. It frames my face perfectly and it's super easy if you're on the go. Now, from that style, I wanted to show you guys a new way to slay, creating a high puff. So I'm just pulling all of the hair towards the front of my face, sort of like that pineapple kind of vibe. And I'm using this scarf to kind of like help tame the hair and keep it in that one direction. And you just want to secure a knot at the front and lay it so that it rests just behind your hairline. And from here, I'm just tucking the excess scarf into the interior, kind of to hide it so that it frames the puff perfectly. And I'm gonna start shaping it and pulling the hair towards the front and using bobby pins to kind of pin it in place the way that I like. You guys have seen this before, you're not new. You know, we treated this at this point. And again, I'm not cutting any of the hair. I just tucked any of the excess because you don't wanna ruin your clip-ins. And so which style are you guys loving? Do you like style one or do you like style two? Are you like more of the bold person or you want something a little bit more wearable for work? Let me know in the comment section below, but be sure to check out Her Given Hair. They're gonna be having their Christmas sale, so you don't wanna miss it. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and kiki with me in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. <laughs>